Hey guys and welcome back to the third part of our chatbot tutorial. So last time we created our data set and now in this part we will continue and implement the actual PyTorch model. So our deep learning neural net and then the training pipeline. So let's do this and before we start I noticed a little error here. So here I have to use a comma instead of a dot of course and then in our chat data set class in the get item function here I called this index not short idx so index so now we can continue and now we want to create the actual model so for this we create a new file so let's say train.py uh, sorry, not train.py, but model.py. And here we import torch and import torch, torch.nn as nn. And then we create a new class for our model. So class neural net or whatever you want to call this. And this must be derived from nn.module. And then um, we have to define the init, which gets self and the input size and the hidden size and the number of classes. So this will be a feed forward neural net with two hidden layers. So now if you have a look at the slides again, here I have the feed forward neural net, which gets our bag of words as an input. Then we have one uh, neural, uh, one layer fully connected, uh, which has the number of different patterns as the input size, and then the hidden layer, and then another hidden layer, and the output size must be the number of different classes. And then we apply the softmax and get probabilities for each classes. So let's do this. So we want to create three linear layers by saying self L1 equals NN dot linear. And this gets the input size and then the hidden size. Then let's copy this two times. So our second layer has the hidden size as input and the hidden size also as output. And then the third layer has the hidden size as input and the number of classes as output. So input size and number of classes must be fixed, but you can change the hidden size if you want to. And then let's also create an activation function for in between. So we use a relu activation function. Then we want to import the forward or implement the forward pass. So this gets self and x. And then we say out equals self dot l1. And this gets x first. Then we apply our activation function in between. So we say out equals self dot relu, which gets x now. Then we do the same thing two more times. So we apply our second linear layer, which gets out as an input and then puts out the next output. Then the next activation function and then the third linear layer, so L3. And at the end we want to be careful, so we don't want an activation, so no activation and no softmax because later we apply the cross entropy loss and this will already uh, apply this for us. So don't apply this here and simply return the output then. So this is our model. Now we can go back to our training file and then create our model. So here we say model equals torch, uh, sorry, 
this will be our model. So we have to import this. So we say from model import neural net. Then we create this. So we say neural net and then it gets the input size. It gets the hidden size and it gets the output size output size. So we have to define this here. So we say our hidden um, size, let's say our hidden size equals eight as well. So you can change this, then the output size equals and this is the number of different classes or tags we have. So the length of the tags and the input size is the number or the length of each bag of words that we created. And the bag of words has the same length as the all words um, array. So we could either uh, use the length of all words or we say the length of x train zero. So the first bag of words because they all have the same uh, size. This is the input size. Um, so now let's, for example, let's print the input size and let's print the length of all words to see if this is correct. Then let's print the output size and let's print the length or let's print the whole tax array to see if this matches. And then let's simply save this and run this. So let's say Python train.py. And um, then we get an error here because of course I forgot to call this super method. So here I have to call super neural net and then it also gets self and then the super init function. So let's clear this and run this again. And now we see that this is working. So we have the correct input size, which matches the length of all words. And we have the output size seven because we have seven tags in this array. So this is working. And let me uh, delete this print statement because I don't want this anymore. And now we can continue. So one more thing that we can do is if we have GPU support, so then we can use it. So let's check if we have the GPU available by saying device equals torch dot device. And then we say this is the CUDA device. If torch dot CUDA dot is available as a function. Otherwise, we simply use the CPU and then we can push our model to the device if it is available. And then let's create the loss and optimizer as always in our PyTorch uh, training pipeline. So we say criterion equals nn dot cross entropy loss and our optimizer equals torch dot optim dot adam and we want to optimize model dot para parameters and as a learning rate we say this is the learning rate that we have to specify so let's put them here to our hyperparameters so let's say learning rate equals 0 0.001 and let's also um, define the number of epochs so num epochs num epochs equals 1000 so you can try out different ones here 
And then let's do our actual training loop. So we say for epoch in range num epochs. And then we use our training loader. So we say for and then we can unpack this. So words and labels in our training loader. And then we also want to push it to the device. So we say words equals words dot to device and the same with the labels. So labels equals labels to device. And then we call or do the forward pass by simply saying out outputs equals and then we call model with words as the input. And then let's calculate the loss. So the loss equals the criterion which will get the predicted outputs and the actual labels. Then we do the backward pass, the backward and optimizer step. So we have to empty the gradients first. So this is one thing that we should remember in the PyTorch optimization. So we say optimizer dot zero zero grad. Then we call loss dot loss dot back sorry backwards so to calculate the back propagation and then we say optimizer dot step and then this is our training loop and now let's also print some um, things so let's say if epoch plus one modulo 100 equals equals zero then so every 100th step then we want to print as an f string we want to print the current epoch which is the epoch plus one and we also want to print all epochs so number of epochs and we say loss equals and then here loss dot item and format it um, to print let's say for point for f for decimal values then we are done and then let's also print let's grab this and print the final loss here so we say final loss equals the loss at the end and then let's clear this and run this and hope that everything is working so torch is not defined. So here we say torch.cuda. So again, let's run this. And now our training loop starts. So we see our loss is 0.7. In the next step, it's already decreased a lot. So only 0 0.07 and it's further decreasing so now it's done and we could see that our loss um, successfully decreased with each epoch and at the end it's very low so our example patterns are not very complex um, but we can see that our neural net is very good for this purpose so um yeah i think that's it for part three and in the last part we will see how we can now save this stored model or this trained model and then use it in our chat um function and then implement the actual chat so see you next time and if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe